For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. Okay, so, as you can see, we now have the Whalebone Sword somehow intact, I guess? Probably held together by wires or something. And then we gotta play our little guitar. And let's see what's out here. Oh wait, no, we gotta go to our uh, journal here. Forgot about that almost. Travel log. Alright, so, Dust District. So read this if you want. Oh, my bad. So I'm guessing I can get one or two more things, because something looks like it fit there. I may have missed it, but one, maybe three more things. I don't even know. Hmm. Why is he still painting her? I guess he was the one painting before. So many years. Hmm. I never expected to feel so tired. I came to Karnaka for the food and the clean air. Now this. Oh, I was seeing G on it. I was seeing that. The... I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Paolo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. Huh. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Question is, which one do I kill? Seeing this place and these people... I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? Yeah. Okay, so... Sorry for, uh... Yawning! This time... What is that? Alright. Again, though, which one should I kill is the question. Ready now? Yep. His eyes look completely black, almost. Ready. We'll take Megan's skiff closer. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. Now, the new duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district. What was once prosperous is now in ruins. I suppose the duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? 
In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stoughton's home. Maybe he's still in there. Or maybe he's dead. Well, that's a, uh, hardy thought, I guess. If that was even in the sentence. Find Megan once you reach the Dust District. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish it. Okay, then. <sighs> oh, jeez. I feel like this one's going to be a lot longer than the last. Oh, well, we're here now. Okay, okay. Now, bigger question. Where is the black market? Not in the mood. I did. Oh, crap. Okay, first things first. Oh, not this crap. Uh, what was the button for it? I don't remember the buttons. I don't remember the buttons. Oh, no. Oh, no. Journal, that's right. Okay. God, okay, so I have three. Let's go for this for now, the dark vision, the greater dark vision. All right. Let's try Shadow Walk. Just to get back here for now. Okay, now we're at least that we're somewhere. Let's go after that. Poor kid. Why do I always have to do that? Come on. I hear someone moving on my left, but I'm scared to even look. One of them two penny drinks. Huh. Hmm. They got your sauce. I don't like that. Go Better on. have a look. Hey, do it! Dang it, that didn't work as well. Oh my god. We have got... You gotta be joking. Yep. Okay. Well, now that they're all knocked out, um... I don't even know. Oh, hey. Guess not. Here's someone. Someone's in the building. Might as well see what's up there. It's stuck out here. I'm tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. There once was a man from Old Lampro whose copper was as weak Grand Palace. That's an assignment. Alright. I think we might have found a little bit of a stash. I could have gone up there and uh, deactivated it, I think, in a second. Or not a stash at all. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Okay, read this if you want. 
Oh, hey. Dust from the mines. Jeez, that's a lot in my ear. Oh. That dust. Man, it's making me want to blink before I keep uh, looking at it. Jeez, that's loud. So, how to get in, I have no idea. But I actually have to go back up now and freaking turn that thing off because I forgot to. Ah, that would be... I thought there was something over here. I th or someone, I mean. Scared the crap out of myself. It's rotten. Okay, so... I'm trying to find her, but I'm also trying to find all the stuff while I'm at it. Okay, so runes right over there. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm scared someone's gonna jump out, I'm not gonna notice it. Cause that's just how I am. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Um. Yeah, oh, I need to go up. Gotcha. on Burns' head, and the Vice Overseer effectively wants the same thing. Oh, it's her, okay. Another slum. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here, but getting inside will take some effort. Okay, oh. So I actually have to talk to you, gotcha. <laughs> I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Pass the touch twice. Whoa. <clears throat> and specific speak that's a very specific thing on that. Uh before the sun sets. Let's see, what is there in here? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, that almost scared myself there. Okay, I wish outpost. Been told that people are and, okay, gotcha. about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our Northern Ireland. That's not dust. It's the blood of our enemies. Hey. There we go. So now I have one. Yes. <clears throat> and I think the next thing we're gonna go for is probably Shadow Walks, uh, Shadow Run, so I can move faster. And we don't really need to attack anyone. So after that, I think we're done with that skill. Or, <clears throat> excuse me. Or what I actually will do is probably spend four. That way I can get uh, when I fucking bone trips, I have uh, more room. And also probably another force so I can get, uh, and I'll like sacrifice some of my uh, bone charms so that way I can have some more powers. So 
So let's see. That one's closest. Who the heck are you? Jenny's sister says you can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got huh. beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. Okay, so... Read this if you want. Okay. So, it is a full riddle, so I'll see you guys in a couple minutes when I figure it out. Actually, you know what? I, no. Okay, so... It's, it's understandable that Finch is on the left. That's an obvious, but... We don't know who's the rest of them at the moment. I'm gonna go look at the other stuff around the city for a bit, and I'll come back to this. The I remember that name. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But. He put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes, pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Circanos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Well, okay. Okay, so I've said screw it to the, uh, one rune, but, I mean, hopefully this gives me a way to get in and get my stuff that I want. Yes! Oh, thank God. That took me way too long. Now to find Aramis Stilton. Okay, so I went uh, and looked up something after I already opened it, so I didn't cheat. But uh, this is not going to be the same for everyone. They, the developers made it to where it changes each gameplay. So if I go and play through it again, it's not going to be the same. So, if you're using this as a, oh, I'm just going to cheat for a second and not have to do the actual puzzle, you're going to have to do the actual puzzle. I, I'm i sorry, but it's at, in my opinion, that's a great mechanic. And, well, not mechanic, but a great uh, little detail for the game. So, yeah, let's go. Really? That, that was it? I could- okay, so, okay. So, I literally could have done that level- I, I thought this level would have taken, like, hours. And the only reason it took me two- it took me basically an hour to, like, play and get all the, the uh, runes I wanted. And it took me about another hour, because I was, I was doing stuff downstairs and I had to go drive somewhere. I had to stop the game. So, that was maybe an hour and a half of me playing. So that's short, dang, okay. Well, I really don't know, like, that's just, that's, jeez, okay. No wonder they didn't have a black market in this area. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys would like me to play next, and what I'm actually doing in the current games I am playing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See ya!